This is a terminal station. Toronto, a city with deep, diverse and culturally savvy people, derives its strength from its diversity. Toronto is definitely the most welcoming city to work, study and live. The Greater Toronto Region is home to the second largest cluster of food businesses in North America. According to the BBC, Toronto is the most ethnically diverse city in the world, ahead of both London and Dubai. Toronto never misses when it comes to food options. There are so many spots scattered across the city. The only question you'll be asking yourself is, where to eat next? Food brings people together on many different levels. It's nourishment of the soul and the body. It's truly love. No matter who we are or where we are, food is a constant. And so I set out to find what is it about food that brings people together. And during one of the forays, I came across a food truck. What attracted me to this specific one was their story. That's how I met Jessica and Sky, the owners of Flame and Smoke. A journey of two friends wanting to start a business and I found that their story was much more special than that. I remember the first time I ate something that she made at a, re at a restaurant um, on Church Street. So for anyone, Church Street is very important to both of us. Um, it's a very important part of the city. Um, and I think we both um, grew up in a time when like, you, if you want, if you chose to be visibly queer, Right. If you chose to be visibly gay, uh, uh, transsexual, whatever, um, you knew you were putting a target on your back, right? And I think that we both dealt with that in different ways, but it was something that we, it was a common experience for both of us. And so the community, the the gay community on Church Street, the bars, the clubs, the restaurants were both really important to us. That's, we, we met on that street um, through a mutual friend and um, continued to spend a lot of time there. I think that that sense of community um, that we maybe didn't necessarily have at home um, was, uh, is something that we, it's kind of like a, philo a guiding philosophy um, of, of Flame and Smoke. I was done with the with the industry, the way that people were running it, and she was frustrated. She had just gotten laid off, and we're like, what are we gonna do that's gonna make both of us happy in a way that we know that it's gonna prosper, like, you know? So yeah. like, we, we, we decided, you know, let's just go for it. Yeah. Like, let's just jump in yeah. and go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think especially after spending so long being, just like feeling very defeated at the end of a work mm -hmm. day. Like, you've put in a lot of effort, but you haven't really accomplished anything for yourself. We start with barbecue chicken sandwiches, fried chicken sandwiches. We know that that's very big in Toronto, so. There's a story behind that sandwich. Yeah, and this, the sandwich also <laughs> is like something that I created for, like throughout the whole 10 years out of my, uh, my um, career. 
Um, it started because one day this guy I was working with was hungry and he asked me to make him something to eat. And I said, okay, I'll make him a barbecue chicken sandwich. And then he was like, whoa, this is good, right? So I was like, okay, I didn't think much about it. And then like moved on to my next restaurant and then it was my turn to do staff meals. And I was like, well, let me see how this works. So I added something different to it than I did last time. And people were like, this is amazing. Like, you know, so I just kept like trying it on people, making people my guinea pigs, like, you know, without them really knowing. And that's how the sandwich came about. Tweaking like, it a little along the way. And yeah. now it's, it's a sandwich 10 years in the making. <laughs> it's a really good sandwich. <laughs> I want to say like in the beginning, I think we just wanted to be a restaurant with no... Association yeah. necessarily, like we right? Were just like, we just want to show you guys that we can cook food and that's what yeah. we're here to do. But I think growing with the business, we grew as well. And I think we were like, no, we need to represent ourselves in this business as much as possible because this is us, mm -hmm. like, you know? So I think like doing like you're saying doing the charity work that we're doing right now for church street like the community and stuff like that i feel like it was us trying to be like no like we're we're queer we're women of color and we're we're doing our thing like you know and we're proud of who we are right i feel like i didn't start to see the real possibilities for my own life until i saw rep, like examples of them out there um and I, to me, being that example is very important. I was saying before, be very observant, and if it's something you're passionate about, and you know, like this is something I want to do, like just be observant as much as possible and see everything that's going on. Note things that don't work. Note things that do work. Like you know, what I mean, it's just so that way when you're in charge, you know, like okay, I've seen that this doesn't work, so I'm maybe not going to do these things. Like you know what I mean? But I know these things could work. How can I branch off on these and like make them my own, geared towards like certain careers, I guess. Mm -hmm. If you're passionate about it, just go for it. I know there's gonna be fear and there's a big risk behind it, but like at the end of the day, that what if is gonna eat you alive. Like what if I did do it? What if, you know, like what if I just took that chance? Like, you know, and it's like, you'll never know. So just go for it. And there's no harm in failure. Like failure, I think people have put a lot of like, negative connotations on. And I think that failure is just a, a way of learning. Like, you know what I mean? You know now that's not something to do. Try something different next time. It, hard decision making is hard. Um, I don't think there's any other way of wording that. Um, important, making important decisions is hard. Um, but I think everyone has an intuition, right? and I think everyone has a gut. In my pursuit of trying to find the essence of food, I came across a story of courage and grit in the face of greater odds. Sharing their story just goes to prove that it's possible to be comfortable and successful at work without compromising on who you are. I learned that the odds can be beaten if we have the will, the support of people we love and warm food to bolster us at the end of the hard day.